In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most overpowered way to play coverage defense in Madden 23. This coverage defense is suffocating, it's locked down, it's going to have you really bagging a lot of what your opponent is trying to do. And the beauty of this coverage defense is actually really, really simple, and chances are they're going to be scared to death you're going to blitz them. Now this coverage defense comes to us out of the Dime 146 or Dime 14 formation. You can find this formation in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. And if you want to get my full Dime 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below. The Patreon will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the Dime 146. So I think it's a really, really great deal for you guys if you want to sign up for that. Uh, like I said, only $10 and it gets you access to all of that material. And then, like I said, we're going to show you this coverage defense against one of the most popular formations in the game, the Gun Bunch. And I want you to check out uh, really what makes this defense, I think, special is this one is this audible right here. So what we're going to do is actually really simple. Um, you can come out and cover two man, but this is also your default audible, um, like your default man coverage audible within the formation which affords us my opportunities when we talk about alignment. So um, alignment, I think, is the most important thing when playing man coverage this year. If you have good alignment, your man coverage is very difficult to beat. But if you don't have good alignment, it's actually really easy to beat. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the safeties in at the linebacker spot. We have our best pass rushers down here. And then we're going to come out in the play DB signal to buzz. But I'm going to show you first what it looks like if we come out in cover to man. You're going to notice that this linebacker is on the right side. This slot cornerback is not in a good spot. If I was to base a line, now we've got people mismatched across man across formations. It's just not the greatest alignment in the world. The other problem with this is due to this linebacker being kind of off center, you'll see that if I just simply put my tight end on a streak, a lot of times he'll actually be able to get over the top of the tight end. Now in that example, the safety did play him, but let's say for example that we wanted to, um, you know, let's say we wanted to do something like this, um, then what you'll notice is that this guy has got a really good chance at just bombing over the top as you see right there, which is the biggest problem with cover two man, it's the biggest problem with shaded underneath man is if you if you don't have good alignment when you play it it can be really problematic so what we need to do is get everybody down in the box everybody to the gaps we also need to get that slot into a reasonable position so the way we're going to do that is we're going to come out in db sting to buzz okay uh, by coming out in this play it's going to improve the alignment significantly now you're going to see when we audible to this defense you see that we have really really good alignment now the only adjustment you I feel like you need to make is we're going to go ahead and uh, man up that right side linebacker onto the tight end. And then I like to blitz my user just so that I have four people uh, technically rushing. You don't have to do that. And that's basically the defense. That's literally it. Uh, and what you're going to notice is this will bag literally everything they try to do. The alignment from this formation is so freaking good it is it is right there with nickel 3-3 cub as the best aligned formation in the game because of it can because of how it can do stuff like this this is super valuable because what you'll notice is when they start to try to throw um you know any kind of like any kind of corner route let's say they try to throw any kind of corner route you're going to notice here that you're going to have great alignment across the board now the other thing that is, it, it, you can do this with this defense that I really like about this uh, alignment is let's say that I want to throw a zone to the right side, okay? If they, if they try to run like, let's say they try to run like, um, you know, just cur uh, a good old quarter route or whatever, then what you'll notice is this curl flap is you're not going to get destroyed over the top. Now, they, the bumping is kind of a thing, but you're not going to get destroyed over the top with this, okay? So again, let me show you. I'm going to audible to corner strike this time, okay? So here's our alignment. We audible to cover two man, press it, and then what you'll notice is the streak just doesn't... You see how they, they're not winning. The man coverage is not winning at all. And 
that's what makes the shade underneath man so good. Now, another reason why shaded down man is so good is because let's say they try to throw that verticals wheel route. You're going to notice here that if I try to throw this ball out here, it's going to be intercepted nine times out of ten. It's really hard to throw the verticals wheel. Um, another thing you could do with this coverage is you could shade it. Like you could individually shade that solo guy uh, outside a little bit. And what's going to happen there is you'll notice here that the C route is definitely not as open. Okay. Um, now you do have safety help on the C route as well. One of my favorite things to do, um, one of my favorite things to do is to, again, put my curl flats on like 30 or something and drop two of them to stop the core routes. Now, all they can do is attack us over the middle of the field. And this is one of the best, because of the alignment of our linebackers, they can't really do that. As you see right there, that's a popular throw that a lot of people like to try to make. You can't really make that throw um, against this defense. So, not only is this really good from a coverage perspective, but there are some ways that you could blitz. You could do something like this and send some pressure off of the right side. Now, this isn't a, this, this is good, especially um, if they are sending people out on routes. This is a great little blitz that a lot of times can get off and get pressure. So you can kind of mix that in um, as you as you see fit. You know, you can easily mix that in. Now, one last thing I want to cover is if you don't want to adjust that guy, if you want to just leave that coverage over there on the right, if they were to run a a route, it's going to be a really lurky route. Like he'll get there um, actually more than you might think. But I mean. Honestly, by and large, it's best to just have the sky band up on him. But, you know, I just wanted you to see that if you wanted to try to do something like this, right, and let's say they ran like a flat, he's he's not going to be like perfect, but he'll get there. Um, so, you know, that's something that you can do as well with this defense. But anyways, this defense is super good. Like, um, I've, I've ran complete games sitting in this. You get really good sheds from 146 this year. I think better shots, again, than a lot of people realize in this game. And the coverage is incredible. The coverage is incredible coverage. So, um, in the ebook, we talk a little bit more about the pressure concepts. We talk a little bit more about, like, specific adjustments for uh, specific things that your opponent might do. But by and large, like I said, this defense is incredible. It's super good. And if you can master the, ma the, master the coverage and the blitzes, then you can shut down anybody because literally if you just mix it up this year on defense, I think you can get a stop. Um, another thing you could do that's kind of, I think, interesting is I can man this defense alignment up onto the the tight end and then we can send that three-man pressure over here on the left side. So maybe it looks something, something like this to a degree. And you see that that linebacker will actually press the tight end and play him really well. So if you have a guy that can cover in that spot, um, that's a that's kind of a luxury as well with the coverage defense. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my full Dime 146 defensive ebook, the link is in the Patreon, uh, or the the ebook is is going to get access by joining the Patreon. It's only ten bucks to sign up for the Patreon. It'll get you access to all of our ebooks and updates throughout the season. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.